We discussed the two projects that are slowly, too slowly, <laughs> advancing in the city halls. One is related to devising an open data local law with responsibilities and procedures on how to collect data inside the city hall and maybe use that as a blueprint for other public institutions to come with us in this journey at one point or another. This is somewhere in the city hall, I think, with the juridical department, maybe. Uh, another project is with our friends at Code for Romania, in which we can uh, create and deploy a platform for open data. So <coughs> after we have the data sets, you, we can expose them to the public, citizens, NGOs, companies, and they can take them and play with them. So these are the two main uh, projects right now. Now, uh, in our group, we got into a little more detail about how we can do this. And there are certain, certain phases through which this project must go. Uh, the first is, I don't know, data alphabetization in a way. Uh, people don't know what open data is, don't know what open data sets can do for them. So this is something that we try, we will try to address, maybe with our help from our help from friends and Boston. So we must explain both to people inside public institutions and to citizens and NGOs what those data sets can do for them. And after we have data sets, we must give people examples on what they can do with those data sets in a visually arresting form and easy to access and manipulate. So we can, in a way, make people see that these data sets are not only for PhD students, but they are for citizens and people, and they can do and see and get insight from the data that are collected inside public institutions. Um, another thing that we, we agreed is that we need a stakeholder mapping of what data sets NGOs or citizens or public, other public institutions or companies are interested in it from the vast amount of data sets that are collected inside public institutions, in this case, the city court. And they are not used even for public policies inside the institution. So this is the first, I think, the first step, recognizing that those data sets or those data exist, they can be gathered in, in data sets in a way that is machine readable, easy to use, and easy to uh, put together with other data sets. So uh, meaning can be extracted from this in an easy form. And after that, if the people inside the institutions understand this, we can move towards exposing those to the public and giving examples of this. And like I said, in, in the meantime, getting people to understand what, the, what open data means and what they can do. Um, I would like to, to tell you that we arrived to some conclusions, but we don't. <laughs> We didn't arrive to any conclusions, but we reiterated our support for this and we will try to move things <coughs> in the following months. 